Welcome to episode 12 of the electric motor and battery build. Uh, in this episode I will go through some uh, miss cabling or incorrect connections that I added to the last episode and uh, just to show you what the correct connections uh, should be. Let's have a look. Let's do a time lapse on the uh, correct connections and I'll go through uh, the actual connections with you after that has been done. When the uh, 4 meter extension throttle cable was delivered, it came with a 3 pin plug and a 2 pin plug. And I was instructed by Golden Motor to connect a 2 pin plug to the rev on the motor controller. And when I explained that it was a female going to a female and that it didn't seem right, they apologized and asked me to replace the female plug with a male plug which I did and then I did some more research and I realized that it shouldn't go to the uh, rev it should actually go to another cable that is called uh, KSI and the KSI cable is the one that controls the ignition switch on a, a car or a motorcycle or in this case a boat so it forms a, a, a loop that needs to be fully um, looped for it to, to actually open up. So what we now have is from the DC contactor battery in, we have a live wire that goes in to the brown two pin connector for the throttle goes into the throttle itself so that when you press the start button it then returns the signal uh, back to the red cable that then goes up into the KSI cable coming from the motor controller uh, which then initiates the, uh, the electricity for the motor controller and the motors themselves. So. It also takes an extra, extra power from uh, this cable going up to the L1 on the DC controller and that is delivering power when this coil is open. So there's two, two cables that are going into the KSI motor controller, one from the, uh, from the DC contactor and the other one is from the uh, from the throttle return so hopefully that makes sense we'll see how much it makes sense when I connect the battery to this to see if it actually works so uh, yeah when I have uh, connected the uh, motors to a battery and confirm that everything is running as it should I will then uh, put together a proper connection diagram that clearly shows what cable goes where and, and why. So I will uh, add that to a, a future episode. The interesting part when I connect this to a uh, battery is to see if controlled by one throttle, if the RPM 
on both of these motors are identical. If not, then I obviously have to set that in the configuration somehow to make sure that it spin with the exact same RPM. And to be absolutely sure that this is measured correctly, I have some external kind of magnet sensors, which I'm gonna fit onto here and here for testing sake, just to make sure that the reading I get with the uh, Golden Motor app corresponds with the analog sensors that uh, I am mounting straight onto these shafts. So that will be interesting as well. While I'm waiting for the 3D printer, I might as well connect the active balancer and the BMS to all the uh, battery points. And uh, first I thought I, I leave that for another day uh, because I need to kind of take everything apart and uh, paint it and so on. But I will have to test it so many times before I do any kind of cosmetic works to it. So uh, I might as well connect it properly and uh, leave it connected. So for this session I will leave it with just connecting the uh, the right hand side and I will connect the actual battery side some other time because it requires me to move all these tape bits back a bit uh, before I uh, get the uh, outer uh, layer of the cable. Uh, so I will not do that today, I'll leave that until tomorrow. Thank you for watching episode 12. Uh, if you have any questions, stick them in the comments. Uh, if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.